Hi, I'm Andrew, and today I'll be showing you how to place a battery in a Compact 6 Plus, Compact 6, AMT and DVD transponder. For today's example, I'm going to use a Compact 6. Before we get started, you're going to need an 8mm nut spinner or spanners, two compact opening tools, an M4 bolt and a pair of long nose pliers. Please remember to be in a well ventilated area and if there's any sign of water ingress or battery leakage to wear the correct PPE such as goggles and gloves. Before you remove the battery from the transponder, pressure in the unit will need to be released. Screw in an M4 bolt into the pressure release valve and gently pull with a pair of long nose pliers. It may take a few seconds for the pressure to be released. You can now remove the bolt. On the transducer end cap, undo and remove the bolts and washers that hold the clamp ring in place. Push free the rubber bumper and remove the clamp rings from the housing. Using the yellow opening tools, lever the end cap from the body until both o-rings are visible. Ensure that the o-rings are not caught or damaged during this process. Then gently remove the end cap, making sure not to pull so hard that the transducer connections come loose. While the transponder is open, it's worth checking that everything is okay with the o-rings. You can check out our o-ring and maintenance care video on our YouTube channel if you want further help with this. Now disconnect the battery and transducer connectors and remove the bulkhead. Before the battery is removed, you want to ensure that it's in the uppermost half of the transponder. At the base of the battery pack, there is a red loop. Use the drawstring to remove the battery pack and set it aside. Now take the new battery and slide it into the body of the transponder, making sure the connections are facing out. Now spin your compact back round so the battery is in the lower half of the transponder. Place the bulkhead back in the compact, feeding the battery connectors through the centre. Secure the battery back connectors. The end cap can now be refitted. Coil the transducer cable back into the end cap. When sliding it in place, be careful not to trap it. Reposition the clamp rings into the grooves and slide the rubber bumper back onto the end cap. Now place the bolts and washers through each hole and secure with the nuts. Your transponder should now be ready for redeployment. Hopefully you found this video useful and don't forget we offer repair and calibration services at all regional offices just like here in Aberdeen. If you have any questions about these services just get in touch. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.